What up guys and welcome to another Cardano NFT market update. The one-stop shop video where I go over all of the upcoming news for the Cardano NFT space as well as go over some of the top projects when it comes to volume. And yeah guys, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm probably not alone here when I say the Cardano space has been absolutely nuts in the past month. Between the random meme coin season that we had, a lot of these different Cardano DeFi tokens going on massive booms, and now this whole entire SEC situation labeling Cardano as a security, it has been an eventful month to say the least. But before I go into my personal strategy, how does the overall market look like when it comes to the NFT side of things? First things first, guys, we have to check the market volume in the Cardano NFT scene. And as I've been saying over the past couple weeks, it's pretty much been going sideways between this 300 and 500,000 ADA level. And I think it's because a lot of the people that were here kind of just short term have already left. And the people that are here are already holding long enough. So they're kind of just here and they're like, all right, I'm just going to make a couple of these different trades, right? So I haven't really seen the Cardano NFT side of things really shrink and I haven't really seen it grow either. And that's why we've pretty much just been going sideways. And you can see here, this is probably the most sideways chart I've seen in a long time. And I think a lot of the people that got out probably got out around January and February. And over the past, you know, four or five months now, we've pretty much been going on this sideways bend. And it kind of makes me think that a lot of these Cardano NFTs have probably bottomed in the sense that when volume decreases, usually prices decrease as well. And because volume has pretty much been bottomed out, you would think that a lot of these floor prices have already started getting to a bottom unless things get a lot worse in the market, which does have some potential simply because of the other news that's going on. So yeah, overall volume's been maintaining. A lot of the floor prices have also been maintaining. And this makes me think that we really have capitulated at least to a larger extent where a lot of the volume and a lot of the funds from people that are still in here are not really going towards new projects, but some of those top projects and a lot of the smaller ones have been kind of dying out during this time. Now, outside of that, there are a lot of different things happening externally right now that is going to have a major implication on not only Cardano and its NFTs, but a lot of cryptocurrency in general. If you guys aren't aware, about a week ago, the SEC, which has been taking a super aggressive stance towards cryptocurrency, came out and basically shotgunned 12 or 13 different cryptos, including Cardano, Solana, Polygon, and labeling them as unregistered securities. Now, they have been taking a very aggressive stance against cryptocurrency, and that can be a whole entire video of why I think the US is incentivized and has a political agenda to really shut down cryptocurrency, but that's for another video. But what you guys have to know is that this is going to have major implications on the entire space. Instead of going out and coming up with regulations on how these different cryptocurrencies and exchanges should act, they are instead just labeling a bunch of these as securities and pretty much forcing different exchanges in the US to the, to the list them. You've already seen Cardano drop within this time period from 37 cents all the way down to about 22, 23, and now it had a slight bounce back up to 28 cents, but we are far from out of the woods yet, guys. We already had Robinhood basically take down Cardano as well as some of the other cryptos, and then we have other exchanges which are Binance and Coinbase being sued right now for selling unregistered securities securities. So the whole thing is insane. And you might be asking yourself, well, oh, they can just keep selling these cryptos anyways. Oh, they have to win the lawsuit first. But that's not really true, guys. Because if you remember from XRP about a couple years ago, they got labeled a security and it was forced to be delisted from every single US exchange. And it's still delisted to this date. And when you look at these different SEC filings, and you can kind of see all of these different ones that got labeled as a security, you're starting to see these these different exchanges in the US being forced to comply. Robinhood has already taken down Cardano as well as a few other cryptos. Binance literally is having their withdrawal and deposit fiat on-ramp in US dollars paused on the 14th, I believe, which is insane. The US government is basically like, hey, if, you can't, if you're not gonna stop trading, we're just gonna tell the banks to stop allowing you to withdraw and deposit fiat. So effectively, they're trying to cut out the US from getting involved in these 
these markets. And if this continues and a lot of these different exchanges have to take down these cryptos in the meantime, or they'll face just not being able to have that banking route, then all of a sudden you're taking out a lot of volume and a lot of liquidity from the crypto market and volume equals price guys. So it's really interesting seeing all of this go down in real time. I've talked about in the past, very briefly on this channel, how the US kind of wants to shut down crypto. And like I said, maybe I need to make a whole video detailing why I think this is happening, but you have to recognize in this market, guys, to be careful. Yes, crypto is a lot bigger than the US. Yes, they have to win their cases against the SEC or the SEC has to win their cases. But in the meantime, there is nothing stopping them from getting super aggressive with all the banks they have in their back pocket and saying, hey, if they don't comply, shut them down. We already have crypto.com making an announcement that they're stopping their application in the US. Supposedly the mobile app will still work for now, but the actual site. So you have the Binance withdrawal and deposits. Who knows what's gonna happen to Coinbase? Robinhood already had to delist some of it. It's a really crazy time. So as far as what I'm doing in this market right now is I'm being very, very careful. I'm in a lot of Bitcoin because Bitcoin seems to be very safe and the Bitcoin dominance has been going up. And I'm also in a lot of stable coins right now, just waiting to see how this plays out. If they really manage to shut out the US from a lot of these cryptocurrencies, that is going to have a major impact on a lot of the prices. And right now, I would rather be on the sidelines in safer assets such as Bitcoin and those stable coins while a lot of these things play out. I still think that Cardano and a lot of these other cryptos are going to do substantially well in the future, but until these different regulations get put in place and until we have some more clarity here, this is something that you guys should have on your radar and be very careful with. Before getting into the top 10 here, I just wanna remind everyone that you don't need to just freak out and sell all of your stuff. I'm still unbelievably bullish on Cardano and a lot of these other cryptos in the long run, but just be a little more careful than you usually would when you're getting into these different investments. And maybe if you're very stacked on Cardano right now, not holding anything else, maybe this is a good time for you to start getting exposed to Bitcoin more, or maybe Ethereum until they call that a security, or just get into some of these different stables and wait to see what happens here in the short term. But yeah, guys, now onto the top 10 list. Number one for this month, or for this week, which is always the number one, is going to be Ape Society at 428,000 ADA worth of volume. They're almost always about two to three times times the volume as the second most project and it's pretty insane just how much dominance they have in the Cardano NFT market right now. Number two is going to be your goofy gophers at 160,000, Clay Nation at three, almost at 150,000. You then have Cardano Crocs Club, the Mallard Order, and Cornucopias coming in at four, five, and six, or a mob taking the number seven spot at about 104,000 ADA. We then have the Cabins by Ape Society at eight, Space Buds at nine, and then the Meld Bank Manager V1, which just came out, coming in at that 10th position. The first project on our list today, guys, is going to be the Ape Society, and they have actually been hovering around the 5,000 ADA level for nearly a month now. They have a couple things that are released soon here and this is why they've actually pumped up to this 5800 ADA level. The first thing that's coming out is their Levi Finance and this is where you're going to be able to get instant loans or be able to give out loans to different people using a liquidity pool so it's pretty much instant rather than waiting for people to lend or borrow or that sort of thing. So this is much needed in the space. We were actually building this with ourselves with Jelly Cubes but then there were all these issues came up with our dev and it was this whole entire fiasco but I'm very excited that someone in the space is doing this because it is needed. Now they have this on a lot of the other chains out there and usually this does very well and gets a lot of volume. So I'm excited to see how this takes place. And if you have your different Kotas passports, you're actually gonna be able to get different discounts on these actual fees. And you can kind of see here, you have these various stamps where you can unlock different fee discounts using your passports. They also have their whole entire plunge stake pool, which they actually had to change because they partnered with Ada Anvil on that and then they had this whole beef so they're not working with them anymore but this whole entire plunge is going to be for people that are staking to their stake pool and you're going to be able to use society tokens to get these different custom nodes out there now custom nodes help speed up your transactions only when there's a lot of congestion so during this meme coin cycle it was actually pretty useful to have these different custom nodes but if the blockchain is not at congestion then you're not really going to notice a difference or a benefit with having these different nodes i do like to see that they're 
they're providing the node service soon though. And for a thousand society tokens, you're looking at about 80 to 90 ADA a month, which is not too bad. To actually run and operate a node costs about $20 for the server. So as long as this is dedicated and not just one big massive shared node, which I don't know what it is, then it should be something useful for you to have. The next thing here is going to be our Goofy Gophers Mining Club. And this is a project that I've said good things about for a while now. They have one of the best utilities out there and that's passive income through mining rewards. So it's not really tied to the Cardano NFT market. And because of that, a lot of people have been buying in and investing in these different Goofy Gophers. There's still another you know, like six or seven months before they start distributing rewards. But in the meantime, they're just using this to compound to get additional miners. Now, as I've said in the past, there's a couple of things you have to think about when it comes to this whole mining thing, mostly in terms of regulations, since their mining company is in the US, but this team has delivered on a lot of aspects. The community is really building and they actually announced their rewards for the first month and they were able to get over $30,000 profit from mining in this past month and that wasn't even with all of their miners online. So I really like to see this project. It's genuine utility. And I think a lot of people that are in here are really just holding because they like the investment for a long term. Now is 850 a good price to get in? I have to do the math if you do and basically figure it out. But what's really interesting is because ADA is going lower, the actual US dollars are also lower for these different NFTs. And when it comes to the mining reward and your share, it's all paid out in terms of like US dollars because they're mining Bitcoin and Litecoin and Kadena. So it's very interesting because they're gonna convert those US dollars, that 30, 40 grand, whatever the case is, into different cryptocurrencies such as ADA and then distribute it. So each time ADA goes down, I actually think that these are more valuable when it comes to price. Now you can actually math out what the expected revenue generation is going to be. I think last time I had checked when this was like 500 ADA, it was around 15% a year but overall pretty cool project and uh yeah on to the next one here Next thing here is going to be your claim nation. And they've been hovering at this 2008 level, briefly dipping down to this 1800 zone. There hasn't been much announced with them recently. We know they're building a lot of stuff, but they did talk about their whole entire sandbox thing and how this is the first Cardano NFT project or Cardano project in general to actually have a place in sandbox. So as I've said in the past, guys, I really like claim nation. I don't know how well this metaverse concept is going to do because there isn't a lot of interest in metaverse type gaming projects right now, but this is just a team that you can really get behind. Their branding is on point and it's kind of getting to that zone where I think it's a decent buy. If it gets down to 1500 ADA, I definitely think it's a good buy just as a long-term Cardano NFT play. Next project here is gonna be Cardano Crocs Club. And this is one of those projects that have been going on a massive run over the past month. They're now sitting at about 19, 918 ADA, and they have a lot of different things that they've been working on that's gonna be coming out soon. One of the things that have come out is their whole entire UEX.finance, where you're able to do basically Cardano into all of these different cryptos, even if it's on ERC20 or Algo and a bunch of other places. If you've used Fixed Float before, it's pretty much fixed float, but in their Cardano Crocs ecosystem. Now, they also have a couple other things coming out, including their lands launching soon. They're going to dox. The founder's actually going to dox. Supposedly, they have a lending platform coming out soon as well. And then they're going to announce their baby Croc utility as well. So a lot of things building with this project. They have a crazy amount of devs. And I think they're really going to build a lot of things within their whole entire ecosystem, especially with the swamp lands where different projects are going to be able to build on there and get incentivized with their C4 token. Now, I don't know how they're going to keep up the tokenomics with their token. There's a lot of things that I have to deep dive with that still, but this is definitely a team that's been building, and I think it's a strong, strong project as far as a long-term buy if you're really betting on Cardano NFTs. It's 917 a good price right now. I have no idea. You might be able to get a better deal on a radioactive croc or a baby croc. I've got to look into the math of everything and see which one is the best value, but it's definitely a project to have on your radar. 
The next thing here is going to be Mallard Order, and they had actually dipped down into the 500s range and are now going back up to 750. They were supposed to come out with their Raiders Guild a while ago, but now they're coming out with their Raiders Guild sometime in the next month for the invitation passes to try out. Now, this Raiders Guild is going to have a bunch of different engagement tasks where you can pretty much earn uh, different rewards through going with this, and you can buy different things within the whole entire Raiders Guild system. So pretty cool stuff. I know they've had some delays, and I think a lot of that had to do with the Twitter APIs, but it looks like they've been able to figure out a lot of that stuff. They also have merch coming out soon on their site, and they were also talking about how their current Discord game, where you can kind of go on like these different missions and get XP and all of this stuff, they were talking about how they're going to make a UI slash UX version of that, where you're going to be able to go on these different adventures with your mallards, supposedly get these different items, maybe get some different traits. There's still a lot to figure out with that, but something to pay attention to. I actually scooped up a couple mallards for our upcoming season two mystery chest, which I'll get into a little bit there, but I'm a big believer in this team in general. And I think that they have a lot of stuff that's going to be coming out within the next couple months here. Next project here is going to be Cornucopias, and they have been going on a run recently, not necessarily in floor price, but in volume, simply because they've been showcasing a lot of their game that's coming out soon here. I, I muted this uh, video, but their Unreal Engine 5 looks absolutely insane, and they did a whole entire walkthrough where you can see some of the trees, some of the movement, the grass is shaking, some of the different games that they've been developing, and I don't think they have a timeline yet of when this is going to release, but I do believe the OGs in their discord can actually participate in this beta gameplay and you can kind of see here just how nice the water looks and how everything looks as far as cornucopias goes i think they're going to deliver on a lot of the things in the future with their whole entire gaming metaverse thing and they have a very competent team that's starting to get a little bit more interest in this space now i don't know once again how these whole entire metaverse plays are going to work out or how these different gaming plays are going to work out but it's definitely one to keep on your radar Next thing here is going to be Ore Mob, and they've actually also gone, gone on a run recently from about 400 ADA all the way back up to about 550 ADA. They still have a decent, uh, decently high listing percent at 9.26, uh, but they're starting to get some of the things that they've been working on out, including their first collab merch drop, which is with Saba Kuru. I have no idea what this is, uh, but they have like this cool little almost looking trophy thing, and they also have this shirt as well that has a cool design in the back now what's really insane about this guys is the actual price for this was 550 ada which does seem pretty steep for me but regardless they were actually able to sell out in this or mob sale as well as their bpm pre-sale so pretty interesting stuff i think a big aspect of this project is just brand and ip and partnering with these different high fashion brands and i think that's why they had a clean sellout here and i'm going to be paying attention to them a little bit more simply because i think branding and ip is such a large aspect in the space. I don't necessarily know how well this merch is going to help out the floor, so to speak, but if they have a lot of merch that people really want to get their hands on and they build this to be a lot bigger than just the 10,000 NFTs that they have, then it could be something that does really well in the future. Next project here is Space Buds. They actually went below 2,000 ADA and are hovering around that eight, uh, hovering around that range. There is, still isn't any news or updates going on with Space Buds. I did buy one Space Bud for our upcoming Mystery Chest Season 2 uh, because I think that this is a pretty good buy overall. But once again, as I said in my last video, this is kind of like a narrative play more than anything rather than them building a lot of stuff out for the Space Buds. Even in their Discord, it's been a couple months since, th since they've made their last announcement. So I'm not like a huge investor in Space Buds right now, but I do think that it's starting to get into that zone where it's a pretty solid buy just as a narrative in a strong project. And if this, for whatever reason, got down to like that 1500 ADA range, I'd feel pretty comfortable buying this for a long-term play. Next thing here is going to be a new project that just came out, and this is going to be the Meld Bank Manager V1. Now, if you had staked to their stake pool, you know, months ago or like a year ago now, which is crazy because I actually did that. I'm going to have to find the wallet. Uh, you can actually claim one of these bank managers. Now, in the beginning, they were supposed to have between a 1% and 5% discount for their for these bank managers, but it looks like they scrapped that, and now it's 0.3% discount when it comes to providing collateral or a reduction in interest.
list. So pretty interesting stuff. They're going for about 220. If you remember staking to them when they were doing their ISBO, definitely go over there and see if you can claim it. I believe they're free to claim. So it's a free claim or like less than 10 ADA and you're able to get something worth 220 ADA. As far as buying these, I'm pretty much on the sidelines. I don't know how many people can actually claim them. There was some FUD with Meld in general. I, I talked to Bison a little bit about it. I know not everyone agrees with Bison, but he really thinks that uh, Meld has some sketchiness to it. So I'm personally not going out and buying these, especially since those aqua farmers as well as cows with muesli swap haven't done well. So in my opinion, this is kind of a good time to, uh, to kind of get some of these and sell them in my personal opinion, if you are able to claim them from that ISPO. And you can kind of see here they in this article, they talk about, you know, having these moods, these sketches, how it's kind of like your robot banker, how they developed it, some of the utilities. Pretty cool article if you're interested in the behind the scenes look of how these came to life. Next project here is going to be Ada Inmates. And I said in my last market update video, guys, that I thought this was going to absolutely run and that I should have probably scooped some of them. Unfortunately, I didn't listen to my own advice, which unfortunately, I don't listen to my own advice a lot of times. Uh, and these have gone on a run. They were sitting at around 200 ADA. And within the past week or two, they've actually gone all the way up to 550 ADA. And I wish that, uh, yeah, I, I mean, if you look at See, sometimes this chart doesn't doesn't have the right uh, numbers, uh, but you were seeing like maybe a, a week or two ago that they were around this 200 ADA range, and now they've been absolutely shooting up. And the reason is, is a lot of the people that have bought into this ecosystem, even though they have a smaller community, are very, very loyal, and they're very dedicated, and the actual founder himself has always been hopping on these different voice calls, so they have a very strong community, which enabled this to really run up when it was coupled with their low listing percentage. Now, their holder count has been going up slightly as well, which is what I have been saying that needed to happen, and I'm excited to see what this project is able to do. Once again, their whole entire smokes token is a key aspect of their project, and they actually just recently enabled people to have their posters, which are kind of like the frames of Ape Society, in order to actually uh, stake these different inmates to their cells and get the smokes token. When I was listening to him about his ideas with the smokes token, I'm curious to see you know, how well this smokes token does in the future but if they're able to make a lot of wells for this a lot of faucets a lot of sinks to basically give value to that token very similar to what ape society is doing with their society token then i think these inmates are going to do well and just so you know i was talking to the founder and he's like oh you know their holders don't like it when i compare it to ape society guys i am not calling you ape society i'm just saying i see common uh themes and this is able to educate other people watching my video i like the project i wish i had listened to my own advice now, the next thing here is going to be Disco Solaris that I wanted to cover. I don't really cover Disco Solaris often, but they actually have a mint coming up in the next couple of days here. And this is going to be a perpetual mint, meaning that you can mint this at any time, even though the prices of how much to mint is going to change. Now, essentially what they're doing here, guys, is they're having a whole entire customizable NFT thing where they have over 900 different traits that you can customize these different Disco Solaris with. And they partnered with different projects out there, such as is ADA inmates, I believe, ADA handle, uh, and a couple others to have different traits that represent that ecosystem. Now, you're going to actually have to buy one of these uh, basically naked Mobius, I think they're calling it Mobius Pioneers, and then you're going to be able to pay to add these different traits and kind of customize it. Now, I do think it was like a little expensive to get into these different ones. Like, I believe the traits are over like 25 to 30 ADA per trait that you want to attach, and then it was like 125 ADA or something to add actually get one of these and those prices are going to go up over this next week until it gets to a one current price. Now they're building a lot of other stuff in their whole entire ecosystem but right now I haven't done a deep enough dive to see what the actual purpose or utilities of these are but it is cool to have a whole entire customizable thing and that's why I wanted to at least bring this up because a lot of projects have talked about this customization but really haven't delivered on it. Next thing that I want to talk about here is Her Monsters. Now, Her Monsters is a project that I actually like for the long term, and I think they're building a lot of stuff and have a lot of the components needed to have a successful project. Now, they don't have an official Discord. They have a, a, an underground Discord, and I feel like it's hard for new people to get in and kind of learn about the project, but I think the art is cool, and when it comes to their actual uh, utilities, their whole entire Foxy Fight Club is supposed to come out sometime soon here. They've also been having a whole 
whole lot of different collabs. One of those are Ada Inmates as well as OTK for their whole entire Los Moreres city where you're going to be able to do a lot of different things in. But the actual combat and being able to, you know, fight each other and go on these missions is going to be coming pretty soon here. I think they did this eyes thing in this tweet literally about a week ago. So this could be something that comes out soon. And since it's been holding their ADA price, if they're able to get more eyes on the project and more people interested in the project, perhaps these could go on a little run. They have been kind of stuck at that zone though. So I'm going to have to pay attention to it. And that higher listing makes it harder for the price movement to actually move here. But once again, I think as far as a long-term play, this is a really solid project that has a lot of things going for it. Now, the next project that I wanted to briefly bring up here is actually going to be Goombles. They've pretty much been hovering around that 100 ADA range, a lot of times going between 80 and 90, where you can maybe scoop some up and get a relatively good deal. Their actual play test for their whole entire tower defense game actually went live recently, and it was only for people that basically won a spot or won the lottery to participate. I don't know how fun the game was. I don't know how it operated. I don't know how it looked like. I can't even see a lot of these things but supposedly it looked pretty smooth. And the fact that they've already kind of come out with this prototype within a couple months of minting is a good sign overall. And like I said, I think that Goombles is going to deliver on the game, whether or not they can make that a game people want to play, people are interested in, whether or not, you know, they encourage people to buy the NFT side of things in order to get more excited about it or, you know, collectible aspect. I have no idea, but as far as them being able to deliver on an IP, on a brand, on a game, I do think that they're going to do that. Now, the last thing that I want to bring up here is actually the Big X Brave Dogs Mystery Chest. Now, if you guys missed the last mint, we actually did this maybe like two months ago now. It's crazy how fast time goes, maybe a month and a half ago. And we had released our first season one mystery chest for only 20 ADA, and there were only a thousand of them. And what's insane, guys, is this 20 ADA mint is already up to 180 ADA. There's only 13 of these listed, and over 600 have been opened and burned forever. And it was honestly a really cool experience. Now, if you've watched my videos in the past or you're just in the Discord, you'll know that we're going to be doing these mystery chests every one to two months, and we're going to be partnering with different projects in the space, which we've already found our season two partner, to be able to customize their mystery chest to look like their project. So I'm really excited to announce the season two soon here. We're going to start announcing our partnership sometime in the next week, and there's going to be a lot of opportunities to actually be able to get into the next mystery chest mint. Most likely, there's going to be 2,000 of these chests next time instead of 1,000, and it's going to be a 50 ADA mint price for a total of 100,000 ADA, and then we're going to have roughly 80,000 ADA worth of prizes, not including these whitelist tokens, which have been going around like 60 to 70 ADA range. Right now, it's about 90, but I think most of them have been selling between 60 and 70, and there really haven't been very many for sale either. So yeah, really excited about this next one. We're going to have an Ape Society in there. We're going to have Clay Nations in there. We're going to have a Space Butt in there. We're going to have jelly cubes in there, and it's going to be a much bigger chest where there's going to be a lot higher end prizes, which was our feedback, especially now that we have five times the amount of ADA for the mint. We're going to be able to, you know, have some of these bigger prizes as well. So stay tuned to that. You're definitely not going to want to miss out on these different whitelist opportunities that we have. And if you're not already, make sure to follow our Twitter where we're going to be able to announce a lot of this stuff, as well as join our Discord where we're going to have announcements in there as well. That pretty much wraps up this CNFT market update. And if you haven't already, Already, guys make sure to follow our Twitter as well as subscribe to our channel and then that way you can keep up to date on our next mystery chest mint as well as some different things that are going to be coming out soon here I also want to say that if you aren't staking to a specific stake pool and you're looking for a stake pool make sure to stake to big it helps support me in the channel for creating all this content because to be honest with you guys you don't really make any money uh, making this YouTube channel because you know you don't get like a ton of views as a small youtuber uh, so anyone that stakes to that pool does help Help support me and I really appreciate that but yeah that wraps up this video hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on the next one